Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Liberty Park Music for another etude piano lesson. For today's lesson, we're looking at a fun little piece by the 19th century pianist and composer Jean-Baptiste Duvernoy. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and this piece is going to help you get your wrist bounce on. Um, the entire piece features staccato intervals played between the hands that are going to require a good bouncing technique, both to get the sound right, but also to avoid fatigue. Fatigue, of course, being something of a risk that we face anytime we have any sort of repetitive motion that we are trying to execute at the keyboard. So, let's start by giving this piece a listen. Now, playing these intervals is not so different from playing single staccato notes in terms of the motion involved, but there is a little bit more to think about and practice regarding the balance of the hand in performing that motion. Uh, something about having to play two notes at, at, at a time instead of one starts to feel like a lot more work. And we tend to tense up our hands quite a bit when playing two staccato notes, especially if those two notes are happening on the first um, and fifth fingers, as do many of the intervals in this piece. So basically, we want to avoid this. And there's a good way to demonstrate for yourself what tends to happen when you tense up that might be useful for you to try so that you can know what you're trying to avoid. So first, just take the first sixth intervals in the right hand and get them going in a nice, bouncy, mellow loop like this. You can see that my hand is still staying nice and close to the keyboard and is uh, well centered over the keys, but that it's otherwise quite loose and bouncy. Now at this point, I'm feeling no tension. I'm playing at a speed at which I'm not feeling like I have to tense any muscles to achieve the motion. And what I'm going to do is to steadily speed up until I can feel that I'm having to exert some muscular effort to sustain the bounce. Now at this speed, I can feel that if I sustain this for a while, I'm going to be getting tired before too long. Now if I keep going to get it as fast as I can... At this point, I can tell that I'll definitely be getting tired soon, and I can already start to feel the tension taking its toll on my hand muscles and tendons. Um, we never want to be at this point for too long. This is where deep endurance training at the keyboard and really excellent technique becomes a reality. And there are people who work very hard to be able to achieve near athletic levels of endurance for this kind of stuff. And until you've gone through that training, you should never be um, hanging out in this zone. Uh, a general rule is that if you're feeling pain or tension while doing something at the piano, you shouldn't be doing it. And fortunately, it's a state of, of being that you really shouldn't be encountering at this point in your piano playing life. Um, if you are, you really need to seek out the advice of a teacher or a medical professional with experience in these things to discover what's happening, because it probably means that you're playing um, with some sort of damaging technique, which is very avoidable at this point. So, to recap, um, play the first six starting slowly, speed up until you can start to feel some tension, and then speed up until you're going as fast as you can, um, just for a moment, mind you. And the purpose of this is to identify what it feels like when you have tension going on in your playing. And once again, um, what we want is to avoid that spot. So when you're playing this piece or any piece that uses lots of um, stock staccato or even not staccato repetitive harmonic intervals like this, we want to aim for this feeling, not this one. Thanks for watching this lesson from Liberty Park Music. If you enjoyed this lesson and learned something from it, do us a favor, hit that like button. And if you really liked it, share it around.
Let your friends and family check it out too. If you want to find more lessons like this or explore other piano-related topics, please come visit us at libertyparkmusic.com. We have full piano courses ranging from beginner to more advanced levels, and everything is online and streaming 24-7 so that you can design your music learning around your schedule and learn in the comfort of your own home from a talented roster of professional teachers and musicians. Come check us out.